$3,175 for Jennifer Lawrence's filthy sweaty undergarments. Every single day I lose my faith in humanity. It's a nice price. What are you gonna do with that? Are you gonna go, there's nothing you could do with the shirt. Yo. I'm not gonna lie, if you're going on eBay to search for like weird like underwear and then we're the exact same person. No, we're not the same person. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you guys join the Twitch. Links in the description. And without further ado, let's get started. 10 strangest things ever sold on eBay. In 2009, an 18-year-old Romanian woman, Alina Persia, successfully auctioned off her virginity for $11,000. You bought coochie for 11 k Yo! You know how damn bad you have to be to bid 11000 for some coochie? She got the idea from a news story she read about a woman named Natalie Dillon, who had done the same thing a year earlier for $3.8 million. Alina advertised- You spent $3 million for some coochie? You're not down bad. All right, there's people out here that are purchasing million dollar coochie. If I spice and she auctioned herself on eBay, hey man, I might, I might just give you a little two dollars. Advertised the sale of her virginity on a German dating website. The mystery winner was a 45 year old Italian businessman. He paid for Alina to fly out to Venice where the couple toured the sites before spending the night in a luxury hotel to consummate. The transaction was complete and Alina moved in with her parents using some of the money to pay for her college education. You are down bad. I don't care. I don't care if you're a, a successful businessman. You just paid 11000 for some online coochie. Back in December of 2008, Scarlett Johansson was a guest on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. She claimed she caught a cold from Samuel L. Jackson while filming the movie The Spirit. Taking an opportunity to raise money for charity, she came up with the idea okay. of blowing her nose into a tissue and selling the snot on eBay. The mucus- Y'all are buying Scarlett Johansson's mucus? Y'all niggas want boogers? Not gonna lie. I would make this purchase. No, 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 no. That's weird. The person that bought this, what did they do with it? What can you do with someone's boogers? Like, are you going to hang it up in the wall or something? At least with the other guy, he, he at least got some coochie. Like, he 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 got some pleasure out of that. You're literally going to hang up on the wall Scarlett Johansson's mucus. I want you to think about that. This field Kleenex was bagged, tagged, and auctioned off to the highest bidder for about $5,300. This for wasn't the first time for some mucus? used eBay to raise money for charity. Earlier that same year, a fan paid $28,000 for 20 minute date with the Hollywood actress. I'm starting to think a lot of y'all would choose the Jay Z dinner over the $500,000 because what is this? A 20 minute date with Scarlett? She's not even gonna give it up to you. You just pay 28K just to see your favorite um, actress. A lunch with the stock market billionaire Warren Buffett sold for $2.3 million in 2015. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? 2.3 million? Nigga, 2.3 billion? I better get head from Lauren B <laughs> I better get head from Warren Buffett. 2.3 billion dollars? That nigga better be giving me a company. Nigga, he better be giving me his whole enterprise just to talk with him. No, 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 no. You better be putting me on shit. You better throw it back for me. No homo though. Pause on that. Pause on that. 15. As a matter of fact, the winning bid was $2,345,678. The chairman of Chinese gaming company Dalian Zeus Entertainment placed the winning bid. After the lunch, he said they discussed educational and investment philosophies. Every year, Buffett holds an auction to have lunch with him that fetches bids in the hundreds of thousands, sometimes even in the millions. All of the proceeds go to- There's no, you don't need a lunch with him. Just wait for someone to record the conversation they had and post it and boom. There's only so much a billionaire could tell you. What you think is the secret formula is not no secret formula. If you want to get where you want, consistency, hard work, drive, and you're gonna figure it out. If you truly want something, you're gonna get it, simple. To Glide, a charity based in San Francisco that helps the city's poor and impoverished. For the last 15 years, Buffett has used this luncheon to raise over $20 million for the nonprofit organization. In 2008, an English man named Ian Usher went through a bad divorce and decided that he was sick of his life. So sick that he decided to sell his entire life on eBay. The $399,000 sale included his house, motorcycle, car, jet ski, a brief introduction to- I thought he was gonna sell himself. I was like, nigga, we're going back to slavery? He's selling his house, so I doubt people care about you. A brief introduction to his friends and even a two week trial period at his job at a rug store. After the sale, he traveled the globe and embarked on the ultimate bucket list adventure. He set out to do 100 things in 100 weeks. He's done some amazing things like skydiving, walked the red carpet at okay. Cannes Film Festival, okay. and even joined the Mile High Club. He now resides on a Panamanian island and makes a living as a professional. Chat, what the hell is the Mile High Club? A group of people who smash on board in aircraft in flight. And if you look at the video, 
I don't see no woman. Hey, 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 buddy, if you swing that way, you swing that way. Yo, chat, sign me up for this, though. Of course, with a woman, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, damn, I didn't know that was a thing. No wonder why he divorced his wife. The nigga gay. Joined the Mile High Club. He now resides on a Panamanian island and makes a living as a professional house sitter. His book, A Life Sold, caught the eye of Walt Disney Studios as they bought the movie rights to his story. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. A 27-year-old man known only as the Wild and Crazy Oli went to eBay to sell his imaginary friend. He sold him because he felt he was too old for his transparent pal that he named John Malapaiman. One of the questions on his eBay site asked, I swear to God, if this shit sells, if this shit sells, I'm going to eBay and I'm listing everything that's stupid. Whether or not John was single, to which he replied, Yes, he is single at the moment. He used to be a bit of a player, but he's grown out of that phase and is looking to settle down in a nice relationship. Crazy Oli also claimed that his imaginary friend is a professional air guitarist. After 41 bids, he sold his imaginary friend for $3,000. People are getting $3,000. You literally spent $3,000 and you won't get nothing in the mail. It says posted free. There's people working nine to fives trying to make this in a month. Whoever bought this, I hate you, man. I hate you. Postage was free. In 2013, Lady Gaga's fake fingernail was found by a janitor after a concert and auctioned off to the highest bidder. The black pinky nail was emblazoned by a janitor after a concert and auctioned off to the highest bidder. The black pinky nail was emblazoned with gold glitter and beads. The custodian said that he noticed the fake nail on the floor while sweeping up the stage after the concert. The auction included the nail itself, a photograph of Gaga the night of the concert with a missing pinky nail, and a gray Born This Way Tour cruise shirt to prove its authenticity. The one inch phony nail sold for approximately $12,000 on an auction site. A nail, what are you gonna do with the nail? Actually, I, I guess it's more of a memorabilia. People are always trying to get their hands on movie star memorabilia, especially if it belonged to a young Hollywood starlet at the height of popularity. Jennifer Lawrence was was the leading lady in the 2012 hit Silver Linings Playbook. In one scene, she wore a teal sports bra underneath a blue long sleeve shirt. The shooting of that scene was a rigorous one and took all day to film. No doubt that at the end of the day, the bra was dirty and ripe with perspiration, which was perfect in the eyes of the bidders. The winning bid fetched $3,175 for Jennifer Lawrence's filthy sweaty undergarments. Every single day I lose my faith in humanity. It's a nice price. What are you gonna do with that? Let's say this was the shirt. Are you gonna go? There's nothing you could do with the shirt or maybe put it, uh, frame it, but bro, role play? You, you have to be a kinky ass nigga if you're buying dirty clothes just to role play. Somebody bid $24,300 for a suit of armor specifically built for a guinea pig. That's the creator fire. promised That's that the tiny handmade suit and matching helmet would keep a guinea pig protected and secure in all situations. According to the product's description, 100% of the profits would go towards the Metropolitan Guinea Pig Rescue, a nonprofit organization in Virginia dedicated to rescuing, rehabilitating, no, you and finding new homes for unwanted guinea pigs. No, you Unfortunately, no, you after trying to contact the highest bidder, he backed out of the deal. The item was relisted and ended up selling for $1,150. The only time we did something good, he ain't wanna buy it, yo. Everyone remembers that humongous and weird hat that Pharrell wore at the 2014 Grammy Awards. He put the signature Vivian Westwood hat up for auction to raise money for his personal charity that provides learning and arts resources for kids. The bids ultimately went to $44,000 for Pharrell's oversized brown fedora. What's more interesting is the highest bidder was none other than the fast food chain Arby's. They pointed out that Pharrell's hat greatly resembled the one on its logo. When Pharrell went to Twitter to thank whoever bought the hat, Arby's responded by saying, you're welcome. We're happy to support a great cause. Yeah, it would be Arby's. It would be Arby's. <laughs> nah, what do y'all think? <laughs> a good store would buy this? No, it's Arby's. And to get our hat back. A South Florida woman, Diana Dozier, claimed that her grilled cheese sandwich bore the image of the Virgin Mary. Dozier said that she bit the sandwich in 1994 and saw a face staring right back at her. She put the sandwich in a clear plastic box with cotton balls and kept it on her nightstand. She said the sandwich never sprouted a spore of mold. When she put it up for auction in 2004, the gambling site GoldenPalace.com quickly scooped it up for $28,000. A spokesman for the site stated, it's a part of pop culture that is immediately and widely 
if you looked at this grilled cheese, is your first thought, <gasps> is that who I think it is? No, no, it looks like anyone. You're just associating a name with it and saying it looks like this. She's just saying that for a selling point. If anything, I would expect a fat ass nigga to buy this. Spokesman for the site stated, it's a part of pop culture that is immediately and widely recognizable. We knew right away we wanted to have it. This wasn't the only outrageous purchase made by the online casino. In 2005, they paid $5,000 for Britney Spears' used pregnancy test. They Whoever is the owner of that casino, fire them right now. No, 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 no! They even bought William Shatner's kidney stone for $75,000. That does conclude that video and you know in conclusion if you want to be rich sell anything on ebay i guess ebay is where everyone that's weird purchases things if you got to the end make sure you guys subscribe make sure you guys join the discord link in the description and make sure you guys catch us on twitch we're live every day wax off for life love y'all and peace